Good morning, everybody. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw was the stunning village of Bybury. And today, we've actually managed to travel. We have. And we've left England and we're visiting another country. We're in Wales. We take a short trip across the bridge and we're exploring the capital city of Wales and we're in Cardiff. So we're gonna have a wander, gonna have a look. So come and join us. I love this wall. Every time I come to Cardiff it makes me laugh because the animals have got glass eyes fitted to some of them and my favourite is Starry Bear. He <laughs> it really looks like he's staring at you. It's great. But yeah, he's a bit googly eyed. But you said this wall used to actually be in front of the castle at one time. Yeah, they, they moved it. I mean, it was built in the 1800s, but they moved it, I don't know when it was they moved it, um, to the side to make the road wider. Well, so at least they kept it. Yeah, they yeah. kept it. And, it and a... some of them have been mended because like, their noses and that were broken, so they sort of revamped it as well. Yeah, it was worth keeping. It's a quirky yeah, wall. It's it, it always makes me smart. You need to walk along it and see which is your favourite animal. It's an absolutely beautiful part of Cardiff, it really is. It's right in the heart of the city centre and it's just so full of history. Yeah, it's actually in the middle of the shopping centre nearly, but um, but yeah, and it's a, it was a medieval castle built in the late 11th century, but, but really nice. It is absolutely fantastic. It's a lovely grounds and at the moment they've opened all the grounds up so everybody can sit and enjoy the castle. Yeah. And it's a lovely, lovely place to come and visit, it really is. And the weather's nice today and there's just lots of people just have a nice time here really, aren't they? Yeah, including us. Yes. So we're currently walking through Castle Arcade and Cardiff is known for its arcades. Yeah, it's actually called the City of Arcades because it's got so many around the town and there's seven together. They're always um, Victorian or Edwardian and they're absolutely beautiful. They are, they're really ornate and so fantastically made. And they're just full of loads of little, little bars and coffee shops and independent little bookshops. So Quirky shops, really record empty. shops, every, every kind of shop. They're fantastic places to visit in Cardiff. They're definitely a must see if you come and visit Cardiff. Cardiff has an amazing shopping centre and we regularly come over here shopping because obviously Cardiff's not that far away but especially at Christmas because most of it is undercover so you can shop in the winter and you can stay warm and dry. Yeah, it's about the only time shopping in it if we come to Cardiff. Yeah. Yeah, and there's lots of pubs nearby which is always a bonus. <laughs> And it is the home of the Welsh national rugby team and they love their rugby, they really do. The noise that comes out of this place on match day is unbelievable. I've only ever been in there once and it wasn't to watch rugby, it was to watch football and Bristol Rovers lost. So I don't have the happiest memories about the Millennium Stadium but it's a great stadium, it really is. But I think they also hold other events, there, like concerts. Oh, they do, monster yeah. truck rallies and yeah. everything. Yeah, lots of different yeah, things. Loads of stuff there. It is a fantastic stadium inside, it really is.
just taken a short drive from Cardiff City Centre and we're now at Cardiff Bay. It's a fantastically restored part of Cardiff and it really is a stunning part of the city. Yeah, it's really pretty down here. It's right on the water and there's quite a few interesting buildings down here. You've got the Senate building, yeah, which yeah. is the Welsh Parliament building. You've got the fantastic Welsh Opera House building with the writing out of glass windows, which it's stunning, is stunning, isn't it? It is a fantastic building, it really is. And you've also got a white Norwegian wooden church, um, which so say Roald Dahl used to visit when he was a child. So it's, it's a bit, got a bit of history down here. Yeah, it and it's a really odd thing to see as well. The Norwegian church it stands out really like a sore thumb, but it's absolutely pretty as anything. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, really nice, fantastic. You really should come and visit it if you come yeah. to Cardiff, you really should. There's even a few sort of bars and restaurants down there, isn't there? So yeah. people sat down having drinks, so yeah, it was nice. But the only thing I knew about Cardiff Bay before I come here was that it was where Shirley Bassey was born, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my knowledge of Cardiff That's Bay wasn't that great. it's called Tiger Bay. And it's called Tiger Bay then, yeah. yeah. and we've just stopped off on the way home for a drink. Yeah, even on a cold day like today, we still got to stop and have a beer. <laughs> but we're really lucky. We only live 40 minutes from Cardiff. It's a short drive. Yeah, it's up the motorway and over the bridge and we're there. Yeah, over the bridge and you're there. Yeah. It's a really small capital city, but there's so much to see there. Yeah, it's a really good place. Yeah. Lots to do, lots to see. It's really good. Yeah. We're last seen somewhere. The last place you saw us was Cardiff. Where will we be seen next? Why not subscribe and find out? So there's a really quirky wall in Cardiff, which we stood in front of and it's got um, lots of stoned animals stoned <laughs> stoned animals <laughs>